Good morning, Adrian. Let's begin the warm-up session. What inspired you to pursue a career in medicine? Since childhood, I've been drawn to the idea of helping others and making a positive impact on people's lives. This passion for service, coupled with my fascination with science and the human body, led me to pursue medicine as a career. How do you approach building rapport and communicating effectively with patients? Establishing trust and rapport with patients is paramount to providing quality care. I strive to listen actively, show empathy, and communicate clearly, ensuring patients feel heard and understood. By building strong relationships, I can better address their concerns and collaborate on treatment plans. How do you handle challenging patient interactions or difficult diagnoses? In challenging situations, I maintain a calm and compassionate demeanor, acknowledging the emotional impact on patients and their families. I provide clear explanations, offer support, and involve them in decision-making whenever possible. Additionally, I seek guidance from colleagues or specialists when necessary to ensure the best possible outcome. How do you stay updated with the latest medical advancements and best practices? Continuous learning is essential in medicine, and I actively engage in ongoing education through medical journals, conferences, and professional development opportunities. I also participate in peer discussions and collaborate with colleagues to share knowledge and stay abreast of current trends and evidence-based practices. Can you provide an example of a challenging case you've encountered and how you approached it? One challenging case involved a patient with complex medical issues and multiple comorbidities. To address their needs effectively, I coordinated care among various specialists, ensured clear communication between healthcare providers, and developed a comprehensive treatment plan tailored to the patient's unique circumstances. By taking a multidisciplinary approach and prioritizing patient-centered care, we were able to achieve a positive outcome despite the complexities involved.
You can now start the role play. Mihira, I want to reassure you that being in the 90th percentile range is not necessarily a problem. Children grow at different rates, and being at the high end of the growth chart doesn't always indicate an underlying issue. It's important to remember that every child is unique, and what's most important is monitoring Mario's growth over time to ensure he remains healthy and happy. Dr. Ray, I'm really worried about Mario. He's growing so much faster than his classmates, and it's starting to concern me. I think there is something wrong with him. Mihira, it's understandable that you're concerned. I'd like to ask you a couple of questions to better understand Mario's growth pattern. Can you tell me how tall you and your spouse were when you were children? This information can help us gain insight into Mario's genetic predisposition for height. Yes, doctor. Neither of us was particularly tall at his age. We were both average height as children. All right. Mihira, one possibility we need to consider is something called precocious puberty. This occurs when a child's body begins maturing earlier than expected, often due to elevated levels of certain hormones. While this might sound alarming, I want to assure you that it's not uncommon, and many children who experience precocious puberty go on to lead healthy lives. If this is indeed the case for Mario, we'll work together to manage any potential challenges and ensure his well-being every step of the way. Thank you, Dr. Ray. That's, that's a relief to hear. I guess I've been worrying myself sick over nothing. Mihira, based on our discussion and Mario's growth pattern, I believe it would be beneficial for him to see a specialist, specifically a pediatric endocrinologist. These are doctors who specialize in hormonal issues and can provide a more in-depth evaluation of Mario's growth and development. They'll be able to offer additional insights and guidance to ensure we're addressing any potential concerns comprehensively and effectively. Hmm, I understand the importance of Mario's health, Dr. Ray, but if he's within normal limits, wouldn't it make sense to wait and see if his growth slows down on its own? I mean, rushing to see a specialist seems a bit excessive, doesn't it? Mihira, I completely understand your concern and hesitation. It's natural to want to wait and see if things resolve on their own. However, there are a few reasons why I believe a referral to a specialist is necessary. Firstly, if Mario's accelerated growth is indeed due to excess growth hormone, there's a risk of developing conditions like gigantism if left untreated. Additionally, certain medical conditions, such as pituitary adenomas, may not spontaneously stop without intervention. It's essential that we explore all possibilities and ensure Mario receives the best possible care and support for his well-being. Thank you for explaining, Dr. Ray. You're right. Mario's health is what matters most. If seeing a specialist is what's needed to ensure he gets the best care, then I trust your judgment. Let's go ahead and make the appointment. Mihira, let me summarize our discussion. Firstly, it's important to understand that being in the 90th percentile range isn't necessarily a cause for concern. Children grow at different rates, and Mario's growth pattern falls within a normal range. However, given his accelerated growth, we need to consider the possibility of precocious puberty, where early maturation can occur due to hormonal imbalances. While this may initially sound worrying, it's reassuring to know that many children experiencing precocious puberty lead healthy lives. However, it's crucial to be proactive. That's why I believe it's wise for Mario to see a specialist, specifically a pediatric endocrinologist. They can provide a more detailed evaluation and help us navigate any potential challenges that may arise. I understand your hesitations about seeking further evaluation, but it's essential to consider the potential risks if Mario's condition goes untreated. By addressing any underlying issues early on, we can ensure Mario's health and well-being are prioritized. Thank you for trusting my judgment, Mihira. Together, we'll ensure Mario receives the best possible care moving forward.